again and welcome to another of our podcasts from the University of Evansville. I'm Tom Kazee, the President. I'm joining you today from Rodemaker's Cafe inside the Ridgeway University Center, which is a very warm and welcoming area, especially appreciated on a cold day like this. When Sheridan and I hosted an alumni and donor event in Naples, Florida on January the 9th, the weather was balmy and the company was incredible. It was hard to leave knowing we'd be returning to Evansville where winter was just beginning to settle in. As a matter of fact, the winter weather played a big part in a recent event we held on campus, the Davidson Academic Scholar Day. On a snowy January 22nd, more than 200 students and their families were guests on the UE campus. Even though classes were canceled because of the snow and the campus was officially closed, Davidson Day proceeded as planned. We're truly indebted to the grounds crew for keeping our sidewalks clear and safe, and to the support staff and faculty from all over the campus who came in despite the weather to welcome our guests to campus for this exciting and very important day. Davidson Scholar Day is an invitation-only event that allows students to meet with current faculty, other students, and staff to learn how their UE experience can lead to personal and professional success. All students who attend Davidson Scholar Day are awarded an additional $2,000 each year for up to four years on top of their UE annual award. 17 of the students in attendance were also here for UE's first physician assistant direct entry day. In addition to their Davidson scholarship day schedule, these students were invited to interview for a chance to be part of the first class of students directly admitted to UE's new Master of Physician Assistant Science program. Classes for the first cohort will begin in January 2017. We're very proud of our Aces basketball team this year. It's been taking no prisoners in the Ford Center this season. The men's basketball team has won every home game and currently sits with a 17-4 overall record and 6-2 in Missouri Valley Conference play. The team's performance has started to earn them national attention, particularly for two members of the team who have been standouts on the court and off. Senior Agidius Muscovicius has been named a candidate for the Senior Class Award, which recognizes his notable achievements in four areas of excellence, the community, classroom, character, and competition. He's one of only 30 male student athletes nationwide selected as a candidate for that award. Also, senior DJ Ballantyne, who is the leading career scorer among all active players in the NCAA, was named a player to watch by the NCAA on January the 18th, giving him credit for his great all-around talent. Ballantyne remains the top scorer in the Missouri Valley Conference and is looking to be named to the all-conference first team for the third time. Been a lot of excitement among Aces fans as well. A large group gathered in Terre Haute on January the 24th to cheer on the Aces as they played Indiana State in ISU's Holman Center. We had 220 Aces fans in attendance at the pre game Aces fan pep rally to help cheer us on. Unfortunately, the Sycamores couldn't seem to miss a shot and we went home with a loss, but it was a great event that brought out a passionate fan base. Keep an eye out for events like this in your area. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. once said, we must build dikes of courage to hold back the flood of fear. It was with these wise words in mind that members of the UE and surrounding community came out to celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day beginning with the annual symbolic Civil Rights March on Washington that happened more than 50 years ago. This year's theme, Rebuilding the Village Through Courageous Conversations, was centered around ways we can initiate peace today through small steps that could have really major implications. Attendees at the event signed 40-day peace pledges and received a poster with daily reminders of real, actionable steps to make this world a more welcoming place to live, beginning in our own neighborhoods. Other events that day were the William G. and Rose M. Mays Martin Luther King Jr. Lectureship with Reverend Terry Atwater, a UE graduate and member of the Aces men's basketball 1965 NCAA championship team. There was also a panel discussion on Indiana's Stand Your Ground law and the showing of a movie, Three and a Half Minutes, Ten Bullets, a movie about a racially charged event in 2012. January is also an excellent time for you to pursue your New Year resolutions, and we hope one of those resolutions is to come to UE for a theater production, a musical recital, or our creative writing coffee hour reading in the Melvin Peterson Gallery. To see our schedule and find out when these great things take place, find us on Facebook and Twitter, or visit our website at www.evansville.edu. 
Thanks for watching this month, and as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please send your feedback to kazee one at evansville.edu or tweet me on my Twitter account at TomKazee1. Have a warm and wonderful rest of the winter.